Hey there, first day delivery. I am back after a couple of days off. Uh, truck uh, battery died, so I uh, had to go drop it off yesterday. Today's Tuesday, so dropped it off Monday. They had to charge it, which took all day. Uh, wasn't a warranty issue or anything like that. It was just really cold, so um, yeah, had to recharge the battery after the weekend and. Uh, yeah, it snowed a, a lot. I mean, not a lot, but it, enough. It snowed five to six inches. So um, we did mostly door dashing because when the weather's terrible, the tips are really good around here. So I uh, did a lot of door dashing and didn't get any video because I didn't want to, you know, focus on the roads and be safe and all that kind of stuff. So today the roads are back almost to normal there's a couple of you know slushy spots but really nothing to be concerned about so we're back and we've got a fresh battery and the weather's warmer so we shouldn't have any more issues and we're going to you know work uh getting a late start today it's 11:41. i did take this offer just now uh first offer of the day it sucks yes it's one stop 5.4 miles barely ten dollars but it's one stop and there's an incentive. So if I make 14 drops, I get $54 or something, which really sucks. I mean, it's really not worth going after, but if you're gonna try to get it, then one stop deliveries is what you want. I can load up, I can get down there, I can get back for the next round, round robin. So that's my goal uh, today, just to take as many, as few stops as possible uh just get loaded up go 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 keep moving keep moving so we'll see how that works out so uh yeah so stick around we're gonna um we're gonna chat a little bit i guess we'll see how, how things go i might door door dash a little later if walmart just flops so right now my map is here i'll show you my map it's uh it's really kind of dead. It's been like that for a while. And here's here's why. And it's totally a theory, totally my own, you know, conspiracy theorist in me acting out. I think when Walmart does these uh, incentives, that's like not just the, you know, $5 per delivery, flat, whatever, but when they're like, hit this goal for this amount, like today is 14 for $54. That's the max. If you hit that, I think Walmart uses that data and is like, maybe we need, we need more drivers. Let's release, you know, 10 more driver apps and get them on, on the road and get our stuff. Because they don't care about how much money you make. They care about their stuff getting delivered on time. Uh, so if too many drivers are hitting those incentives, then there's not enough drivers. So when I see these incentives come out, I usually hit the first one and then I don't care too much about the second one, unless it's like, you know, five and then eight. Like, okay, I'll do three more for an extra $25 or 20 or whatever it is. But if it's like, hey, hit 10 and then hit 18, it's like, hmm. I'll hit the 10 and I'm good there because the conspiracy theorist in me is thinking they're going to release more drivers. And now I'm looking around and there's a truck there I've never seen before. There's a car that pulled in behind me that I never, that I've never seen before. So it just has me thinking like they're using that incentive data to gauge whether they need more drivers. And if too many drivers hit that incentive, they're gonna pop more drivers out there. And it's just highly coincidental that every time they run an incentive, like this weekend was snowy, not many drivers out. So they're like, hit this, you know, incentive. And now I'm seeing more people. So I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? But we're gonna take this run. All right, made it back and it's uh, about it's 12.30 now. I took this offer about five minutes ago. Um, and it's a good one. I'll take that. $33. There's a $23 tip on there. 
or $23 in combined tips because it's three stops. Six point something miles, that's fine. Yeah, I'll take it. If there's a bulky item on there, it's, it's a case of water. Okay, fine. No apartments, no second or third floors, all, yeah, all day, every day. And that's, that's why I take the shit orders to start because I feel, I don't, and it's a conspiracy theory again, totally unsubstantiated, not vetted out at all, just my own thought. If you show up and you tell the app that you're ready to work, it's going to reward you. And, and it's probably just you, you manifesting something, but whatever you feel like works for you, do it. This is what I feel like works for me. And uh, if you want to try it, see if it works for you. If not, then I guess I'm, I'm the, I'm the asshole here, but, uh, so yeah, we're going to sit around for 15 minutes now and wait for this, uh, get it loaded up and I might not make it back for the next round Robin. So I might start door, door dashing at that point. Um, just cause I'm not going to sit around for another 45 minutes before so something else comes in. So I'll throw door dash on. Uh, for a half an hour or so and then try to stay around the Walmart area. There's plenty of, there's Chick-fil-A right here. There's Chipotle, Jersey Mike's, McDonald's, Wawa. Uh, Bob Evans is right there. Taco Bell, KFC. There's a bunch of restaurants right around here where I don't have to go too far um, to get an order for food delivery. So that's what we'll do probably unless uh for by some miracle i get back by you know 1 30 which i don't think it's gonna happen so uh hang tight all right well uh i'm actually at the end of my shift my wife called and we were on the phone for like an hour and 45 minutes or whatever uh, I did get back to the Walmart in time for this shopping order, which is good. 1.7 miles or so for 20 bucks. Yeah, nothing really hard to deal with. So yeah, took took that. And then I got back uh, and then I got this. Another sh shopping order, $15. So yeah, took that to round out my shift and uh, we had a good little shift, little three hour run. So I will take it. Um, the total is right here somewhere. I don't know. It'll be there. Um, yeah, so what, what I figure, let's see, probably about 80 bucks or so. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. But it was, it was a good shift. It was a good three-hour shift. So, no, probably not 80. I don't know. I'm really bad at math. And I'm driving now, so because I'm in a neighborhood, so it's kind of weird that I'm sitting here talking to my camera, pointing at random things while I'm in a neighborhood of like pretty nice houses. So um, I don't want it to look like I'm I'm casing a, a house or anything like that. So yeah, my total is there. It was there. I don't know if it's still there. I don't I don't know what the fuck's going on. So this shift is over. Like, comment, subscribe, all that happy horseshit. Have a good one.